part of one of the many mansions in Jamaica. Let me show you around. First off, we'll go into the bathroom here. A lot of work still to be done, but the size and the enormity of this bathroom is very rare in other parts of the world. Um, if you leave from that bathroom, we have spacious bedroom area with an outdoor balcony. As you can see, the bedroom is spacious more than ever. You gotta always make sure you lock up. When you say walk-in closet, this walk-in closet is about the size of my bedroom back home. As you can see, and I have a pretty large wingspan, I believe. That's just one room. Some places that's a whole house. Okay, if you go down this hallway here, it's a continuation. Another balcony. Well, I did a lot of paintings right here. We got a lot of beautiful houses over here. People in the process of building still. Everybody knows what they got to do. While I was here, I had my own room. And in my room, hold on. So, Mike, can stay here for a second. And while in this room, this is where I stay. Big, spacious. Home closet, Chester, bed, everything. This is going to be a soon to be bathroom uh, in the process. Nothing is right away, but the vision is there, and that's what you got to have. Here's another room with a guest room. Big, spacious again. Now, one of the rooms that you probably you always want to have for your, for your daughter the princess room and look who we got here, the princess. And this is her room and this is where she stays when she comes to visit. This is just a beautiful room and I know she loves it, right? Ding! <laughs> now, over here there's another, this is almost exhausting taking you through. And this is just the top floor. This is another balcony. And you want seclusion, privacy? This is it. Oh, <laughs> but uh, please be sure not to get a little active and jump off the rail because there is none right now. It's coming though. Now, the downstairs area is humongous. As you can see, we have a big, spacious living room with TVs, all the amenities of America, with a little bit more. With a lot less money not to be spent. A lot of this work that is done here is by um, Jamaicans. All of it is by Jamaicans. You know, I mean, by Jama it was all by Jamaicans. And some of the best architectures, best craftsmen in the world are in Jamaica. This is the kitchen. You work with what you have until you get everything you need. And it's top of the line, top of the line, top of the line. You know. Um, there's another balcony outside these doors, but it's a lot to go through. We had a full course meal right here the other day with the blessings of Miss Blossom. Now, over here is the storage room, another bathroom, and we have another guest room over here. Now, if you got all of this, what do you need? You're going to need to have a maid. So where we're going to go right now is the maid's quarters, which is downstairs. I don't know. Damn! This is what it is. This is also going to be a work area, but for right now this is the maid's quarters right here. Well, not so much this, this is more like a living room. This is like a wash area, soon to be kitchen, I believe. This is another room for her. And this is her area here. Now, people may wonder why people work so hard when they get to the States. 
and then, you know, leave and go somewhere else, it's because of this. You know, why wouldn't you? This can be all yours if you put in some hard work, some determination, and if you have some vision. It can be all yours. It's not mine, but I hope you get one like it soon. Well, I won't be rude like they are in TV Crips and tell you to get the hell out of here, but I will say we do have to get to the airport, and I will say this. You don't have to get the hell out, but you need to come on in and come down to Jamaica, get you a good architect, get you a good crew, get some people who are trustworthy, and build. Because they say wait for you, but don't wait till you're 50 and 60. Because when you hit 65, you're probably dead. And then we have a raster walking up the street here. Mm. And this is what you can get. If you work hard, dream big, and don't be lazy. Wonderful. We would like to say, my guests, we're the National Jamaican Tourist Board. Thank you for on this tour. And with me, see each other again, maybe it might be my house. Bomb. <laughs>